Marvel's animated series What If has done a great job of exploring alternate universe versions of fan favorite characters. While it is connected to the continuity of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, What If could also focus on some new characters like Season 2's cosmic superheroine Kahori. Today at Screen Rant, we explore Kahori's story and her potential to be the MCU's next breakout heroine. <laughs> Kahori was introduced in What If Season 2 as the MCU's first original character. Kahori is introduced in the second season as a Mohawk woman from a time before America was colonized. After her village is raided by greedy conquistadors, Kahori accidentally gains the powers of the Tesseract from the Forbidden Lake. This gives her new cosmic abilities like generating force fields, superhuman strength, and a regenerative healing factor. Not only does she save her village with her newfound powers, but she also teams up with Captain Carter and fights the evil Doctor Strange Supreme later in the season. Kahori immediately drew attention from Marvel viewers with her uplifting character arc, and also her unique aspect as an original MCU character. More Kahori stories can mean a lot for indigenous superheroes. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has been taking some positive steps in indigenous representation. While Black Panther opened up doors for other black superheroes and Shang-Chi reversed the stereotypical representation of Asian heroes, the MCU series Echo struck gold with Alakwa Cox. As a deaf Native American actress, Alakwa Cox shown in the titular role of Echo. Performing stunts with her prosthetic leg, Cox's Echo also made the MCU's action more inclusive and realistic. Echo also featured a large indigenous cast that featured both new faces like Devery Jacobs and veterans like Graham Greene. In fact, it was Echo actress Devery Jacobs who also voiced Kahori in What If in an episode that entirely played out in the Mohawk language. Continuing Kahori's story in live action can continue MCU's positive trend of indigenous representation. An original character like Kahori doesn't just exist for tokenism diversity either. Her immense powers from the Tesseract and her ability to take on enemies like Strange Supreme make her a powerful superheroine who deserves more backstory and future adventures, and just like how Echo could also include cultural traditions of the Choctaw tribe in the main storyline, Kahori's story can also dig deeper into Mohawk culture. Continuing Kahori's story can be good for MCU's marketing as well. With the MCU drawing so heavily from classic comic titles, it's hard to maintain an element of surprise. Yes, the next Doomsday or Secret Wars might be very different from the comics, but the movies will offer high stakes and powerful villains that fans would already be familiar with. With a live-action Kahori adaptation, the MCU can finally craft a new and original storyline. So, the breakout What If character deserves a live-action adaptation to make the MCU more diverse and inclusive. But using Kahori in live-action can also be an exciting marketing ploy for Marvel to include the franchise's first-ever original superhero.